beloved brother knights and the ladies, the assembly will now come to order. He was such a good friend to so many people, to me and Lindsay especially. And this is evident in the fact that all of you guys, all of you people, are gathered here in this occasion. Matt always had a wet smile for everyone. He kept a happy disposition. He was a cool dude. I've always admired how he dressed, so impeccable in a suit, in a tux. And he was fascinating and playful in his shorts, shirt, and high tops. And always he wore the most trendy shades. How do I say goodbye to Matt? He had been an integral part of the Filipino community. He was a dedicated member of the Philippine American Association of Connecticut, or the PAAC. He was a staunch brother of the Knights of Rizal for 25 years. He rose to the third degree rank of Knight Commander of Rizal. Matt was a man of many talents. He was a passionate photographer and videographer and he enjoyed documenting special events and happenings. He was an avid gardener, producing the most bitter ampalaya, <laughs> the sweetest beans, and the longest upo. But his most outstanding skill was found in the kitchen with his pension for cooking. He volunteered his cooking skills during the San Lorenzo Ruiz Association's participation in the week-long annual fundraising feast of St. Anthony's Church in New Haven. He was the chef of the Philippine store there, cooking the most sumptuous adobo, lumpia, ansit, and the mouth-watering pork barbecue to the gastronomic delight of everyone. He single-handedly prepared the food for the PAAC entourage in the Philippine Independence Day parades, picnics in New York City and Jersey City. It wasn't easy because he had to prepare the food days ahead of time for two bus loads of participants. But he was so organized. He had everything ready. He had, he had brought the picnic tables, the utensils, the food warmers, down to the garbage bags to collect the aftermath debris. He even had small containers for people to bring home leftover food. Matt loved his family dearly. He always had a twinkle in his eyes whenever he speaks of his daughter, Wayne. He adored his two grandchildren, whom he shopped to and from school. He was always respectful of Mama Spring, his mother-in-law, and always spoke very highly of her. He was helplessly in love with you, Vicky. And I believe, from what I understand, you guys met in Saudi Arabia. And uh, Matt, working as a mechanic, an accident at his workplace led him to the hospital where Vicky was a nurse. Guess who nursed him back to health and the rest was history. Matt referred to Vicky as his queen in his Facebook postings and they were truly a perfect match. They were always supporting of each other. Matt was a courageous man. He was a soldier in the Marines during the Philippine Army's counterinsurgency campaign against the Muslim separatists in Mindanao in the 1970s. And maybe from his military training, he was maybe a bit belligerent. I understand that he had refused some medical treatments when he was sick. He welcomed the thought of dying when he knew his days were coming to end. Now, thank you for being my friend, being a friend to everybody. I will treasure our honor, Ms. Kamala 
and you better rest in peace, man. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Oh, that's easy. Well, I said that because uh, actually I can't recall any, you know. I have a very few recollections of being with him, you know, like we're together. Um, I was uh, two years older than him, and when we were in graders, I don't even remember that we, we walked to the school together. No. No. And then uh, when we uh, when, when we were in high school, I went to the, uh, what's it called, um, the town high school, and he went to the city for his high school uh, education with my uh, cousins and his friends also. So it's really a uh, big, you know, different story between me and him. Um, after graduation, I moved to the city to uh, for college, and uh, we, we were together for, for uh, six months. And um, I noticed that every time he doesn't go home. And uh, one night, I got his out. <laughs> And uh, the following day, morning, I said, how, how are you going to graduate? You don't, I don't see you open your book. I don't see you come home and you know, read your book, study. And it went into a heated uh, argument, and uh, we have a peace fight. <laughs> Every time I go home, he's not home because uh, he seldom go home. It's only only when uh, when, the, um, when he needs the allowance <laughs> every 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 month or uh, lucky if it's every two months or what. And uh, every time I go home, the mom said. Oh, you don't see you, you don't see your father because he doesn't you know, stay here when he goes to the United States. All his friends are uh, when they learn that he's home, they come to our house and then they go out. And uh, being young. <laughs> so after graduation, he but he's like kind of smart though. Because when he is in high school, he doesn't study. I don't see him as you know, read a book, but he passed. <laughs> he graduated, and that's cool. You can uh, you can stay there if you don't meet the grades. Yeah, they will kick you out. So when he graduated, so happy. And then one day I went home. My mom said, "Oh, you." Your brother is planning to go to the Marine. He doesn't want to study. He doesn't want to go to college. And that's it. So when I was in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, next thing I know, I received a letter. He said, I'm here. <laughs> so what, what happened to the, you know, 
I, I, I left the marine. And then after that, I was, I came here and he followed Vicky. And uh, that's the only time that we had some bonding. We really bonded. We go to different places, Congo, Tennessee, uh, Canada, a lot of places. Um, the only thing I remember is that my parents always complain that uh, every time he goes home, he go out with his friend, and when he comes back, he doesn't have any clothes. <laughs> It's all given to his friend. And his friend tells, I want your clothes, and we just give it. Uh, he's very generous. Even when, uh, when they visit our uh, place, they always have something to you know, give, cook food, especially in the future. Just like we do, just what he said. Very generous. And that's it. I remember. Thank you very much for coming.